Hello everybody and welcome back to a special Project Peanuts episode to say because I have here together with my friend Rob over here who played at the pre-release today and uh, I did not play at the pre-release but I did get my pre-release pack so we are gonna unpack this for you um, so my sacrifice was not playing on the pre-release to uh, yeah, savor the moment of unpacking this pack for you guys and you're gonna help me a little bit and uh, maybe we can talk about some cards and see what we get. Does that sound good? It sounds awesome. Do you want to say something else for the viewers? Uh, how you? Uh, what should I say? I don't know, how about the pre-release of course. Well, for me it wasn't the best of pre-releases and no? the most awesome pool. It was kind of difficult, a lot of choice I had to make. I could go landfall, I could go Mm -hmm. Five color, I could go a little bit more control. Mm -hmm. In the end, and you had like three builds, right? Yeah, I did. I did. I started out with two <laughs> builds, and then later on, I went. Well, first off, I started five color, then I went five four color. color, then I went three color. <laughs> really? You just yeah. <laughs> okay, you just built it down or something. Yeah, yeah, and then in the end, something like two colors. <laughs> okay. But uh, it was kind of tough. All right. Well. Yeah. Let's just see what we get in this pack. Uh, we're not going to build a deck, I think, because of the time. But uh, still, you're you're going to go and you're going to get to see what we pull from this. So let's do this. All right, I'm quite nervous because, of course, we have a chance of getting uh, the expedition lands, as you know, the full art uh, fetch and shocks and uh, fancy knife. How do you call those new lands? The duels, fake duels or something? Fake duels? You call them fake duels? I don't, I don't know. know. Alright, at least we have this fancy ass box, which is uh, a lot more better than uh, the econ, than the yes. old uh, boxes, I think. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah, but I don't like the fact that you cannot select color anymore, because I like right. the underdog. So. Okay, so you're kind of like the underdog guy. Here we go, we have a green dice. Uh, of Battle for Zendikar, of course. Really cool. We have, as promo, oh my god, I needed this card. Oh. Ally Encampment, not the best rare, but it works like a good fiction card for the ally uh, decks, maybe. Ally Encampment, and my, yeah, there you have it. This is gonna be my new commander, Corona, the false god with allies. So, yeah. Nice, I like this, and a foil divider, yeah, kind of crap. Alright, so you wanted to open one booster, right? Would you yeah. like to start or would you like to end? I'll do the middle. In the middle, okay. So. Two after you. Alright, first booster of Battle for Zendikar for me, that will be opened. And you have to keep in mind, Rob, this w uh, would be my sealed pool, of course. Of course. Uh, we start off with a Merc Strider. Well, let's just, nice just skip a little bit through the comments. Ooh, nice bomb. Yeah. Man. That's a good, mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. This is a good card. I saw this card a lot in well, the... I prefer pond. the other one. The, the red one. Lightning Strike then also exiles. All right, right. Not a lot of removal, mm -hmm. but I see a card coming up that's also very awesome. This one? Yeah, that's gonna be a standard staple, I think. Yeah, for a controller maybe. Yeah, and that one's This awesome. one too, right? Yeah. Flash, uh, nice. And here we have the first rare and uncommon here. <laughs> and a full art line, of course. Thank this you. is the ally card that gives you uh, lands. I think this will uh, see play in standard a lot, don't you uh, think? I think it will see play in standard, though it's not a uh, sylvan carry edit. No. But it ca does allow for some mm -hmm. awesome plays. I have already tested a little bit of that card. In your pre-release or? No, no, no. Online, online or something. Ah, yeah, station. right, of course. Uh, it did put out some work, but it got kind of awkward on curves with spells. Okay. We're still good though. It's still, yeah, we uh, don't have the one mana one drop anymore, right? It's extremely good, especially with woodland. Uh, with Bellower? Woodland, no elemental. Because uh, it can create cover? any mana, it means that on turn three you can make a 6-6 six, six Feedlands Trample. Mm, right. Hmm. Alright, second booster. We have Tightening Coils. This is like the uh, fixed version of that uh, pin to the ground. Pin to the earth, maybe? One of the gods. Yeah. We have a no well, comments. Let's sift through them real quickly. Call of the science. That's kind of really wonder about. What do you mean? Well, it does some ramp. This one. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta pay for it. It also provides chum blockers, mm -hmm. but it makes sure that on turn four you have six mana to be able to cast a uh, sour or a conduit. Something like that. Room. Yeah, that could be nice. Coiselex genera. I like this card. Power commander staple. Yeah. I think. Well, yeah, it's it's common. It's it's a common, yeah. right? 
That Whiptail. <clears throat> ah, the Annihilator 2.0 discard ravaged some uh, board states at they the pre-release. Holy balls. Insane. That's, Skyward Elf. That's a good one. It's like the Prison like. Mantis mm -hmm. uh, from uh, Modern Boss or something. I do not like uh, the uh, converted mana cost with the effect because it's kind of uh, confusing for new players. Where is that X? You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. It's kind of weird to pay for nothing, but it says here that you, well, of well, course, get two, counters. Two, but free, free, but it's great mm -hmm. value in limited. Yeah, yeah, true. Well, Pilgrim's Eye, of course, and oh, a Drowner of Hope. Beautiful. Nice. Really cool art. Nice Timur End Curve, maybe. Timur End Curve? Yeah. Wow. Tap creatures, though. Yeah, exactly. Tap creatures. Hmm. Uh, turn six might be the last points of damage you need. Hmm. I take one. Yeah, you can take one. Go ahead. Take the, the Ob Nix list because your name is Rob, of course. Almost up. I should go like Yeah, you know what to do. Just focus on the screen if you want. Well, this booster will, first off, this booster is going to be amazing. <laughs> well, come on, man. Well, g g give me something good. Oh, you want me to do the comment commentary? All right. Well, I wish I had this one more today because, well, I really like the removal. It's a great limited removal. Well, it's nice to stall some terms, maybe. Mm -hmm. That card is pretty cool too in uh, this one. That, yeah, life, uh, flying, beater, for, for, uh, a for, for a cheap cost. True. This one really did a lot for me because I went five color. It could give mm -hmm. the opponent minus four, minus so really a blow because they would attack and I would attack back, and I had a card advantage. Mm -hmm. and everything. This one I'm not too enthusiastic about. Nah, it's just a filler card, right? Well, this one's a nice beater. Uh, two drop. These lands yeah. I really like because when they, yes. with landfall they come in, it's like uh, with the 2-2 two -two, it gives them plus 3, plus 3, first strike, really nice tempo. Go a little bit to the left. Oh yeah, sorry man. That's good. <clears throat> well, obviously a fight, nothing new. Mm -hmm. Nettle drone, awesome cool art. card, maybe combo in modern in some way. Modern. Hmm. Yeah, with uh, like you play this, Three, one. you find a way to bounce your ornithopters and pick a dig, 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 dig <laughs> in. Bam. Potential, maybe. Volcanic upheaval. Very interesting. Instant speed. Destroy target land. Very viable with all the man lands coming up. Well, this one is pretty good as well if you're on behind, especially in the new app sand where yeah. with Siege Rhino it just gets better and better. It's like a congregate on the stick. Yeah. Well said. Well, this one killed me. I'm not too <laughs> not too positive about this thing. Just a fireball card. and a fireball. Mm -hmm. Just some guy now. Yay. That's what I need. I needed an ally. Oh, right. awesome for you. Gives everything haste. Super cool. Ah, well, there we go. Hydra. One big limited bomb. Exactly. Forest. Ooh, yeah. beautiful foil swamp for me. Or, no? Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I play black man, you don't. Nice. I like Elemental. it. Alright, fair enough. Well, you good. get the next booster, man. Cool, cool. <laughs> awesome. That's so fine. I do this thing. <laughs> Alright, third booster. So, we already seen some bombs for the limited if I would play with this pool, right? You go green, black, man. I think so too. I was thinking about the same thing. Uh, brilliant spectrum, yeah. What the Interesting hell? card because Oops. it could be draw two, discard two, but it could also be draw four, four. discard two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, here we have the mind breaker again. Some more It's like the same booster you opened at the first time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's an interesting yeah. sideboard card. This one. Yeah, Hedron yeah. Blade. Because of the Hedron stuff uh, that happens. Yeah, against yeah. Eldrazi. Now that I find an interesting card. Me too. It's a pump. I I used mm -hmm. it today with like two landfall creatures. Yeah. That's and gonna be amazing. <coughs> well, the thing is, I used played that. I gave the Akum Ravager, which is a two-two landfall, uh, two plus two plus two. I made yeah. him six-six, mm -hmm. and I made a two-two landfall plus one plus one. A free-free <laughs> that traded, so it was a big blowout against the other guy. Yeah, exactly. Holy awesome. balls! I, I like this card too. Yeah, good limited card as well. Uh, Ally was no. Oh, this uh, is nice. That's cool. This card will will see play probably. Horribly awry. Yeah. Weird tongue twister name. <laughs> Blade Whirl. This right, gives you first, first strike. strike. All the creatures. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, not too bad. And here we have well, Blade Master and this card. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this card. It's good in limited, maybe, but it's kind of expensive and 
the things he does is not that big a deal. I you think need, you need to build around it. Yeah, it might be fun still, in, an, uh, in, e, in 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 Commander with some Commander. Oloro kind of deck. Yeah, Commander will be uh, the place for this card, I think. All right, we have two uh, left, so I'd say you take the Rob Nixilis sure thing. one, and I'll finish up with this one, and then you do the last one. All right, fair yes? enough. All right, so far no big cards yet, but that doesn't matter. Oh man, that's big! Oh, <laughs> Culling Drone. Culling Drone, nice card. I, I actually that one if you have enough green cards like Bliss Spot, it could be quite nice. Could be cool, huh? Yeah, because you this card is not even that bad. You sacrifice the bliss spot. It's sorcery speed. That makes it a bit worse. But you sacrifice True. the bliss spot. You get a four four, and you get some extra and a, mana and a sign, right? Yeah. Plus, you can attack sack in the second main phase. Maybe could be a thing. Perhaps. Well, yeah. So we have that one again. Hope oh. the glider. Earth. Ah, yes, the first scour from existence. I want this card a lot because it fits in any deck, and I like it a lot. EDH commander. -wise. EDH don't commander. Don't play uh, this in standard. No, of course standard. No, but I don't really play standard. But power commander. Don't play. Don't, don't play the legacy. <laughs> legacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Okay. I hate that thing. This one. No, the next one. This one. No. Oh, this one. This one. Mm. More. I mean, play this. Curve into Rhino. Oh. <laughs> Life uh, let's just skip through the next one. <laughs> uh, yeah, draw two, maybe awaken. This is not too new, not too shabby. Uh, that's actually pretty good. I mean, for four, for five, mm -hmm. six mana, it's quite some value. Even in the late game, if you top deck this, late you get a four, it. four, mm -hmm. and you draw two. It's yeah. a nice tempo. Yeah. Well, here's the land nice aggro, aggro yep. especially with the darkest command. Yeah. And here we have the Green new uh, anger of the gods, kind of. Uh, card, Except Radiant Flames. Never forget you can do it for two as well. Yeah. Which is very... And maybe very even important. one if you want to. Yeah. Of course. Huh. Well, let's get to the God Alright, let's get to the last <laughs> the last God Booster. Go ahead, yeah. it's all yours. This Booster will have another foil. Just like the last one. Oh, sorry. What? There it's some well, Miss Intruder. Ah, okay. Well, very good. Stormcrow 2.0. Ah, and Ingest Enabler. It did a lot for me today. Well, Evolving Wilds. Here's that removal again. Oh, it's like the first booster. Yeah, we have, do have a lot of the same cards. Yeah, yeah that's fun. Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. You want, but that's weird. You open a new booster and you get this. What? A little tear. Oh, right. That's. Uh, well, it's a fight ability again. Mm. Ah, combat tricks. Well, everybody likes combat tricks. Plus 3, plus 0, oh, first strike. Nice card. Infused with the elephant uh, uh, elements. Elephants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, converge XX. Important to know it's instant. It is instant. Exactly. A friend of mine played with this card today and some other the void creatures, no. and he said it just totally rock. So I, I play this card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this one play it as well. Combat damage, cry two. Flying. Awesome, flying. <laughs> ah, shrine of the forsaken gods. Fun thing about this lore wise is, of course, it's Maria, Cozy, mm -hmm. uh, no, Cozy and Ula. Yeah. So before they even know, knew, know. they were like the gods. That's pretty awesome. I don't, okay, here's the foil. There we go. Told you. Oh, I told you. I just thought it was an expedition lad there. Oh, uh, not too bad, man. Sorry. No, that's okay. We do have two uh, foil fours. So that's fine. Uh, right? I do have two foil. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have so much expensive cards, but we did have a lot of good cards for uh, limited. We had, uh, well, we have them here. We have this one for uh, limited sealed. That's amazing. Hold on, let me turn the light away a little bit. Here we go. Good card, and we have the flying uh, bullshit. Really, we have a lot of like stuff like this early turns, and a lot of uh, a lot of <laughs> other devoid stuff, and of course. The Bane of Balaget, the Annihilator 2.0. Well, doing Sealed Eyes, so... So, oh. overall, for a Sealed Experience, this would be amazing. But, uh, we didn't really have any Mythic or any expensive card. But hey, doesn't really matter. Who cares about money, as long as you have fun. Exactly. Get the best pull, win more boosts, get the money card. That could work, exactly. Except I didn't play. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you for uh, watching this uh, quick opening of the pre-release pack. Uh, leave a comment uh, or or a like downstairs. Rob, would you like to open the next weekly booster as well with me? When is that? Well, now, and then I, I'm gonna upload it later. Oh, sure, yeah, sure. Some new Phyrexia, so. 
Uh, tomorrow is day two of the pre-release. I'll try to uh, like film a little bit of uh, over the day and upload that as well. But for now, I'm just gonna. Uh, Keep on playing, and hopefully, I can play tomorrow instead of just watching. <laughs> well, we'll see. I always like the three wins. You like the three wins, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna fuck you up tomorrow, man. <laughs> Language. <laughs> You're so hard, man. <laughs> Furious about this. No. Anyway, thank you again, and uh, I'll see you until the next video. I'll see you in the next video, or until the next video, whatever. Would you like to say hi to your mom or something? Hi, mom. <laughs> Later. <laughs>